Today I'm going to start off with a story. I went to my doctor today. Amazingly, it was actually an appointment with my doctor. It wasn't something over the phone. Haven't seen my doctor in over three years, right? COVID. Okay, so I'm at the doctor today and I'm sitting in this chair and they're checking my blood pressure. And you know, you're hooked up to the machine and they do it three or four times, blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyway, I'm sitting, you know, two or three feet from the scales and out comes this very highly obese woman um, to get weighed by her doctor. Um, and then she gets on and she's all excited because she weighs 129 pounds. And I'm talking, you know, this is a big woman, like her arms were uh, huge. She was walking with the cane, waddling. She was probably um, this much wider than me. And uh, she looked like maybe she was 10 years younger. Um, so same height, using a cane, waddling. And I thought to myself, holy shit. She's excited about weighing 129. I weigh 135. I weigh six pounds more. And, you know, why can that be true? Why can I weigh more than she can or does? Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. Body tissue composition, okay? Now, it really deals with the percentage of fatty tissue in your body and the percentage of lean tissue. Now, lean tissue is a lot of different types of tissue, but usually we think of skeletal tissue, right? That for moving bones. Now, you need both. You need both fat and you need um, muscle. Um, now, what I would say for me, I have a lot of muscle and not as much fat compared to this woman who I know doesn't have a lot of muscle and has a lot of fat. Um, she is concerned only about her weight. That is her only measurement. And even her doctor, it wasn't my doctor, was saying, yeah, well done, you know, 129. And I'm thinking, I don't even know if this woman should weigh 129 at her height, you know, her age. She maybe should be a bit more. Um, but, uh, you know, she doesn't have much muscle. She has a lot of fat, contrary to me. Am I concerned about my weight? No, I am concerned about my body fat percentage. Um, now, mine is about 22, 23%. I'm guessing hers is probably 42%. You know, she was morbidly obese, right? Um, anyway, what do I want to talk about here? Body fat percentage. It really is the best fitness measurement, contrary to weight. And because fat tissue, um, you know, how why we look so different is fat tissue is um, less tightly packed or less dense than muscle tissue. So one pound of less dense fatty tissue looks like this. And the same weight of muscle tissue, because it's much more dense, looks like this less volume, right? Less volume for the same weight as fat. So she has a lot more fat. I have a lot more muscle. So I'm a lot more compact or dense than her. So what we're talking about here, and I would say to her, quit worrying about your weight. You have to build some muscle. And why is that? i am just build, bring over this support here. So muscle cells burn more calories than fat cells. Even when you're resting, they do. Uh, and it increases your metabolic rate. And metabolism is your ability to burn calories. So obviously, if you have more muscle, you're going to be burning more calories every hour, even when you're sleeping. Now, fat cells are for storing calories, not burning calories, storing calories. Um, and that will lower your metabolic rate. So this woman should not be worried about her weight. She should be worried about how much muscle mass she has. She should go to the gym and start lifting some weight uh, instead of only trying to lose weight. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye for now.